Hey, I know I haven't made you a video for a really long time, but let's get to the shit that really matters. The worst part about identifying with Karl Marx's writing is this expectation that because now you know that all the horrible things that happen in the planet are a result of the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil man, you now, to be true to yourself, have to be a communist? That's never really felt right with me, so I want to propose to you an alternative, a counter-narrative if you will. Come with me on this voyage and we can fucking fuck some capitalists already. Obviously, the way you seduce the capitalists is with profits. But before we get there, let's talk about why we need to forget about communism. I picked up my copy of Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth the other day, you know, to reread the highlights. And there was this one sentence about communism that really got me thinking deeply about this. It said, what if communism didn't succeed because we attempted to change the entire problem from the outside. We attempted to change the superficial structure of our politics, but we never really attempted to change people on the inside. So even though people changed the system and technically people changed who were in power, the society at large still valued all the same things. So you still ended up with power hungry motherfuckers on your hands, directing the entire thing. My words, not his. And I never actually told you this until now, but my family lived through a communist war in the 1970s. Um, and they lost everything to the communists that came to their town and stole everything from everybody's houses. And I think just seeing how to this day that instance affects my grandmother and her daughters and son. And it affects their lives and how they look at the world has made me really understand that you can't expect people to be willing to give up their things if they're not the ones making that choice to give their things because then it's always going to come out of pain and again it's like trying to build how are you going to build a just world through unjust means it just makes no sense i guess what i'm trying to tell you is, is stop trying to make fetch happen communism is not going to happen Watching Shark Tank during the last two months, during which I didn't make you a video because I was watching Shark Tank, I really realized maybe the answer to capitalism is more capitalism, a different kind of capitalism. I remember my professor once said, no revolution has ever been won without having the upper class backing the revolution. And I actually don't even know if this is true or not because I'm too lazy to really find out. But that idea always stayed with me. If we really do need the upper class, then we gotta change our strategy. So what I'm here to tell you is, instead of trying to fight capitalism, why don't we work with capitalism? Why don't we make capitalism our bitch? Yes, I have been watching capitalist propaganda instead of making you inspired by Karl Marx type videos. And I had this epiphany. And if you haven't watched Shark Tank, is this reality show in which competitors pitch their business ideas to rich as bitches and they mark riches together happily ever after, so allegedly. Shark Tank is just honey dicking the shit out of us, seducing our subconscious to aspire to wealth making us believe that wealth is attainable if you just try hard enough. Except not, because if you actually watch the show obsessively, you will realize that it is a true reflection of the actual capitalist system which it stands for. I mean, just look at Mr. Wonderful, he tells us all the times, the only thing that matters is the numbers. How much money are you making? How much money will you make? And how much money are you gonna promise to make the investors that are sitting in the room? And in many of the episodes, a lot of the contestants tell them, you know, you we know we're gonna be a great investment for you because we've always worked hard and therefore we will continue to work hard and make you money. And the most brilliant thing about the sharks is that the investors actually tell them, no, that's not the way business works. Your business will make money if it's making money right now and people will care about your business if it makes money and investors will give you money for you to make more money if you make them more money. Essentially telling us the only thing that matters in a capitalist system is if you make money. And what really captivates me about this conversation is that it 
captures the sentiment that Karl Marx captured in a strange labor like how many years ago that the society at large accepts capitalism under the false pretense that if we all try hard enough we all have the opportunity to get to the top but when you really analyze that statement that's actually an embodiment of communism if we all have the same chance and we all start from the same level capitalism therefore is a system in which very few will get to the top and a lot of people will be at the bottom which is exactly what we're at right now but if hitting the reset button to put out everybody on equal footing does not work then we must try a different strategy the path of less resistance or some zen shit like that we can't waste our time waiting for the capitalists to become humanitarians they hate us because they ain't us most of the people that own the means of production have never suffered the oppression that the people at the bottom will experience in their daily lives so they don't have a personal reason to change anything in the world really except their bank accounts that's all that we can go for and what i understand the least is this sense of fear that if we bring people that are at the bottom a little bit up higher that the people at the top have to come down in their wealth or in their well-being or something i think that's totally made up and bullshit because money doesn't even fucking exist there was one day when humans decided let's have money and then they had it and so why can we make more money if it doesn't even exist it's just numbers in bank accounts and somehow from the moment that humans decided to create money until today we have somehow bought into this belief that money is evil money is nothing it's the person that owns the money that's evil or good and so if good people have money good can come out of that but if we don't become okay with the idea of you having money and still being humanitarian and you wanting to make money and being a humanitarian and doing it through good means then i mean we're never going to change anything i mean isn't it a little peculiar that when you have to choose what you do for life like your career or your job you can choose to make money or you can choose to help the world i mean the only people that really get to do both make a lot of money and do good for the world are doctors like why isn't that idea a little bit more out there in every other spectrum on in other every other space of our society why don't we carry that idea to every other area of our society instead of trying to convince capitalists to be humanitarians or expect where we just wait for them to change the, everything about the world we should really be encouraged as humanitarians to make money so that we can come together with capitalists even though our true intentions may not be the same at the beginning i think we're, we can make little steps towards changing the world imagine if every single job or every business had like a humanitarian side to it let me give you two examples like a few years ago i read that walmart started selling organic food and stuff like that because it saw a potential for a lot of more customers and let's now look at the other side of that coin tom's a company that puts a humanitarian side built into their business model which is you know if you buy our shoes we give one to another kid in a third world country i don't care about walmart or tom's what i'm trying to say is in these two situations they're both coming from a different perspective one wants to be a humanitarian and one wants to make money but in this situation in which both do both make money and become humanitarian both end up having the same two results which is you are humanitarian and you do make money for yourself so why can we all just do that and actually change the world and stop trying to fight capitalism because the people in charge they don't want to get rid of it they're not going to get rid of it and it's not a true humanitarian act to take away from people for the greater good of the future because that just that's just a little bit that's just a lot hypocritical it makes no sense it hasn't worked so yeah well i guess what i'm trying to tell you is to win the revolution we need to honey dick the capitalists into being humanitarians because the haters gonna hate and the ainers gonna ain't and the humanitarians are gonna humanitarian so we might as well be the ones to be in charge of revolutionizing capitalism rather than to to fight it because it hasn't worked this far
if we all do our best in whatever way we can to better the world, we will truly then be thousands of many Vietnams without ever having picked up a gun, which is the best part of it. So just let me know in the comments what you think about bringing these two worlds together. I'm not saying Karl Marx is dead. I love Karl Marx. I will not Nietzsche Karl Marx that way. I'm just saying, what do you think about this plan when it comes to world domination? Let me know your ideas. Are you already doing this in your own way? Um, is this a totally crazy idea? What kind of pitfalls do you see? What do we have to watch out for? I don't know. Uh, it's really nice making a video. As you can tell, I'm in a new place. Can you tell? You can see the terrible disaster in the back. Hear the crazy neighbors in the background, probably. I hope you had a good last two months. Thank you for watching this video. If you still are, subscribe if you want to continue talking about world domination. And follow me on Tumblr if you want to talk while I don't make videos. <laughs> Bye. And let me just say, at the risk of sounding like a communist, that the true revolutionary is guided by strong feelings of love. So please go ahead and be the couch potato you were meant to be. In. <laughs>